G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio. I'm actually standing here because this is my favourite view of the whole map. The the, the, the Kavorax lighting up bright green and one running wonderfully. Um, as you can see, a couple of my machines are actually not running. And we have a amount of uranium in on the left. Oh, good uranium in, on the left. Bad uranium in the middle and the output on the right. And the issue is they can't actually output. And we'll put our night vision back on. And you can see, these poor guys don't have a single gap in the belt to output. Uh, and I fixed that by, like, dumping stuff over here. It's not helping. <laughs> um, actually, we need to output priority right. No. Really? I can't see it. Oh, turn that back on. Okay. And output priority right. Maybe that won't help things at all. Uh, oh! Uh, does he have room? That's an important power pole. Uh, My Kavorex process is a labor of love, I'll be honest. Um, it's been tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked some more. And um, basically, if if it was bot-based, I could make it work perfectly. With a belt, I'm, I'm actually maxing out the throughput on a belt. And every so often I come back here and I tweak it a little bit more and, and see how we go. But yeah, um, we do have... 4.4k good uranium and 149,000 bad uranium we're processing more. Anyway, um, so that's that for that one. We need to do a few things this episode. We need to build a fuel train, which we are running at game speed 2. I just feel so slow. I don't really have more room. Oh, I could put... I thought I had another set of legs. Uh, legs need electric engines. Uh, intermediates, no. Where the hell are they? Play this game so often, and yet things hide from me all the time. Um, okay, let's run up here. Because we need a fuel train. We also not need to not have nukes in our hand, because that normally leads to bad things happening. Uh, copy that again. Uh, nope. There, there, and there. There, there, and there. Substation goes... There, uh, requester, there, there, and there. Change, don't change that one to requesting 10 rather than 1. We're going to call this fuel base. And we're going to go grab our train. And we're going to send him to fuel, inventory empty, fuel base, inventory full. Okay, so. Um, between episodes, what did I do? I put down, I basically duplicated what we've already done. I put down a coal and I put down a uranium. Now the uranium does need tweaking, which is something we're going to do right about now. Uh, along with, um, I automated the storage chest placement because basically I got sick of waiting for 50 storage chests to show up and then me dump them out. And then rinse and repeat. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to hook this station up to the belt. I want you to read the belt contents with a hold. And I want you to enable and disable if nuclear fuel is greater than two. Nope. Definitely not greater than two. It's less than two. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to have to be two. Okay. So, 
the idea is if when we have nuclear fuel sitting right here in this little pass here, um, this station will turn off. Now, as I said, we needed to also hook up fuel to the next two stations, which I put down. Now, I could just put down a whole new train st station. Um, but frankly, I would... Oh, I didn't automate it. Crap! Okay. Um, long story short, my recording wasn't happening. La, I'm part of the episode I'm recording right now. Um, so I had to go back and restart the recording and do it again. Which I'm not particularly happy about. Make one lot of legs. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Thank you, autosave. Okay. I'm going to pick up all of that. I'm going to make me some of them. And... Crap. All right, we'll have to come back for that one in a minute. Uh, we need power. Okay, so I need a big power pole here. And a little power pole on the other side of it. You're not so important network, are you? Where the hell are these storage boxes coming from? Probably my inventory. Okay. Uh, requester, 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 requester. No, just one requester. I think. Yeah. Uh, robo port here. Power there. You are in the main network. Yes. So you're going to request in storage. And. You're going to get a cap like that. Mm, that's what we want. Uh, you stop requesting things, please. Oh, I have a heap of steel left over, which I don't need. Okay, so that's one down. Uh, put that there again. Put a robo port. Right here, right on the edge of the network. I did set the trains to start running. Um, because I figured that's something we... Oh, that's what the other one was for. See, now my brain catches up with me. Uh, also count you to one. It was for rocket fuel. Uh, again, put a robot port right there. Hang on, you... No, you are on the network. Good. Okay. Underground, that one to that one. Uh, dump that down. You in the network as well. Done. Nope, not done. Power. Power for that second chest. Okay. Alright, progress has been made. New step. Uh, you can have that. Uh, is uranium. So uranium, the uranium outpost is going to be slightly different. Um, actually... That's why my inventory is full of shit. Goodbye. Um, the uranium one's going to be slightly different, as I was saying. Uh, we're going to bring raw uranium in, but we really don't want to keep raw uranium here. We really want to process it. And the main reason we want to process it is um, compression, uh, which we have covered before, but we take in... 10 uranium ore to give us one good bad or good uranium ore or one bad uranium and uranium ore like all the other ores stacks in 50 whereas the processed uranium stacks in 100 so 50 uranium ore actually equals 5 uranium 
compared to a hundred process uranium. So it's way better compression um, storing, you know, processing this stuff. So we are going to use prod mods. Um, we don't need it to run fast. We just need it to run. Uh, I don't need that blueprint anymore. So paste, 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 paste. Uh, make a new one. Paste, 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 paste. Uh, where'd that blueprint go? Uh, that. And the other thing we do not need is we do not need this here in the middle. Because this is going to bring in raw uranium, which we don't want to direct pass through to this side, which is having processed uranium. So this makes this particular station just slightly different to the others. And the other reason we're going... Uh, oh, crap. I didn't set these. That could have been embarrassing. Um, 500, because why not? Copy and paste that all the way along. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they all look like they're working. And we go out to an active provider because an active provider will push it into a storage box. Uh, okay. We don't need that anymore. We do have one of these. So let's dump that in there, that in there. Let's have a few cars into storage because I don't particularly like f feel like racing them around in my inventory. Uh, that's really all I can dump quickly and easily. Yeah, so this is already... There's going to be a lot of rocket fuel sitting on, on belts, but, you know, what can we do? Uh, now, I do not want to put down our storage chests down here. I want to put them... Run away from the bots. Ah, mine, mine! So, stop it. This one's our coal one, and this one's our uranium one. Now, both do not have a lot of storage. So, I really want to start with the uranium. Stop it, bots. Uh, nope, take that off auto trash. I want to start with the uranium. I definitely want to give it some storage. And then we'll run down to coal, and I'll put the rest into coal. Yeah, it is automated now. All of them will get some storage chests gradually over time. Um, how long it takes, who knows. Um, but it, we're not really in a rush. You know, we can see copper... Train. Copper is running. Oh, have I cleared everything out? Yeah, I'm not going to run into trouble by walking here. Um, we've already got... 860,000 in here. Um, plus, each one of our cars is working perfectly and their trunks are full. Which means when we start taking stuff out, we can direct insert across plus bring in from the storage network. Um, but yeah, 600 and... What the hell are you bots doing? Okay. Um, 600 and... Well, 860,000 already and we... I, I, I've only hooked up this station and this station copper plate three and four are the only two new stations running um so you know i'm starting to wonder whether our storage room area is large enough to start with uh okay you iron six come back now this is our last traditional smelting station which is doing our steel um we have a steel station over here which is actually full of iron plate but has no steel in it where are we oh you're almost here come on zigzag your way through i want to jump on this train jump on Set you back to automatic. Uh, oh, hello, biters. Hey, dead biters. Okay. So, we've got way too many plates, not enough steel. Um, in theory, we need five of these iron plate builds to support one steel build. 
So that may have been a little bit of an oversight on my behalf. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to change these over on the fly. So we're going to have you request in. I'm going to say or. Mm. Nope, there's a risk they might jam. Mm. We're going to put down a request chest right here. We're going to blueprint a request chest requesting nothing. Then we're going to go, oh, it's, look, it's rough side, so we could go do this manually. Yep, they jammed. Okay, so we're going to set these to request nothing. Once they're burnt through what they have, yeah, see, they've got plates in them stuck. All right, once they've requested what, when they're finished requesting, finished processing what they have, then we can then slot them over to doing um, iron plate. At the same time, we're going to speed up whatever the hell this station was. I can't even remember. Um, iron ore. Basically, speed up the iron ore station. Uh, so we've got 14,000 iron ore here. So we actually still have spare iron ore. So your jams, because you had iron plate in you, your jams, your jams, and your jams. Uh, how much were we requesting? 1,000. Sure. Set these guys up to do more iron plate, which should keep up with our steel, hopefully. Um, it does mean that... So I've set up these depots. I'm going to probably turn one of these, probably this one at 12 million, or yeah, one of these two. I'm going to turn one of these two definitely into steel processing, um, because we only have one steel station. And although the lines are dead, so it's not keeping up, obviously, um, oh, it's technically backed up on one side, that is technically... Where else, where else are we bring off steel? No, we bring off steel there. Oh, that's backed up. Yeah, we're still at like a borderline stage. We don't have quite enough steel, but we're not suffering yet. Um, everywhere we're pulling off steel. Where are we? So we're pulling off steel to run gray sites. Gray sites is fine. We're pulling off steel to run engines. Engines are backed up to here, so they're fine. We're pulling off steel to make uh, electric furnaces, which are backed up to here. So as long as a new shipment comes in and these two don't falter, we are fine, except oh, that's steel. Yeah, steel's the one item we're missing. So, yeah, we're borderline as far as that's concerned. Um, as the new steel started arriving. So we're not in trouble yet. You're jammed as well. Actually, a few of these are jammed. Yeah, there's no good way to change these over remotely. Now I stop and think about it. We can try. Some changed over without ha without a hassle. Mm. So now we've got heaps of iron plate. Mm, whatever. Whatever. It'll process. It'll get there in the end. Okay. So... I have one speed module. Sure. I have one speed module. Maybe put it in one that has a little bit more iron available. There we go. Alright. We have iron, whatever the hell this one is, which now has six speed modules, because obviously three miners have died. Hmm, important question. If I do that, and then I blueprint you on top of... No. No. I know it doesn't work with assembly machines, but I was hoping maybe it might work with miners. Maybe they just half imp implemented it. Um, thanks, autosave. But it is something we'll do over here. So I've put some speed modules into this network basically to burn them off. And what we'll actually do is I will rip all these miners up. 
and put them back down as offset as possible to squeeze more miners on. And I'm also blueprinting them down with speed modules in them. So the idea is when auto deconstruct takes over and pulls a you know a one of these apart and has three speed modules which would go into storage, it'll actually put them back into something. Uh, okay, so we want. I have one on me. Excellent. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do. Between mining productivity 90 and speed modules, um, it does not take as many miners to fill a blue belt. Uh, yep, we went short. Uh, okay, auto trash. Give me those red belts back. Alright, new plan. Eighteen. Is that all I have? Shit. Oh no, new plan should work. Okay, so we've got express fast. That gives us express still. Uh, two fasts. That's express. That's express. That's fast. Uh, turn that there. Done. So we've gone from speed of 40 up to a speed of 2 times 26, which is about 52, down to 40. Um, you know, it's less than perfect, but it definitely works. It's definitely higher throughput. Uh, even if I split that off, that won't give me higher throughput. Um, it doesn't look like they actually need it. Uh, rip that up, rip that up, rip that up, rip that up. You're coming back to me? Good. Go faster. Uh, nut base can take care of all these troubles. 8k, come on, go. Excellent. Auto trash. Put red belt back in auto trash. Get rid of it. Boom. Okay, so offline. Offline work. I need to set up one, two, three, four, five, maybe not stone, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 outposts. I have 14 outposts that are over a million. So, and that's just the top half. The bottom half is going to be much the same. There's going to be another 14, 15 outposts down here I need to deal with as well. So, there will be some offline work coming up. Um, now, people have asked me, offline work, you know, can I live stream it or can I summarize it when, we, when I come back? Um, by all means, I will attempt to live stream some of it. Um, just depends on what's happening in real life, so to speak. And... Did I clear up that chest? I did. Um, yeah, what's happening in real life and whether I'm in a situation where I can actually live stream because it's... A lot of times, the reason I do offline work is I have time at PC, but the house is full of people and it's not exactly conducive to live streaming environment. Um, and it means, you know, hopefully I'll stop building over ore. By the same token, if, if solar expands at such a rate that this ore gets in the way, then there's a good chance I'm just going to build right over it. Because that's the sort of person I am. Uh, whilst we're here... Where is that solar blueprint? There it is. Um, that can go away 
two. Uh, that needs to be cleared out. I don't want to accidentally build over that. Uh, that can finally be built. And there's a coal here somewhere. There's coal. So if I cut that there, it means the bots can get busy. Not that they're doing anything at the moment. They're sitting there twiddling their thumbs. Um, yeah, so live streaming. Live streaming, I, I'd love to do it. It all depends on, on the house environment more than anything else. Um, if the house is quiet and I have the opportunity to live stream some of this 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 outposting work, I, I by all means I will. Um, otherwise, I'll definitely summarize it. Um, as for live streaming, it, it could be Twitch, it could be YouTube, it could actually be both because I'm slowly perfecting the software to be able to stream to both at the same time um, without going through a third party and adding delay. It means I'm physically uploading the data twice. Still got some tweaks to it, still trying to work out some of the issues, but we're getting there slowly. Um, and yeah, and then my other thing is I really need to start this solar placing because as you can see, the bots are doing absolutely nothing. Even though there are massive blueprints they have to put down because there's just so much blueprinted already. Um, basically, the game has to scan all these one at a time and say, you know, give the issue, uh, order the command to a, all the bots locally, and none of them get there, so obviously nothing happens. Oh, there was a 2.5 million coal that I accidentally built over. Um, and we need to tap this oil as well. We've we got a bit of work. And that oil. And I really should come out and speed beacon this so it's done. That way I don't have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, there's lots and lots of things going on. It has to be done. Main base is running pretty much fine apart from having that steel coming in. And... Yeah, steel. Okay, maybe, maybe we do something about steel in the next episode. Maybe we do something about upgrade planner and steel in the next episode. Because that's red. Uh, upgrade planner. Upgrade planner. Upgrade that. Upgrade all of that. Upgrade all of that. Oops. What the hell is that? That's what happens with new keyboards, fat fingers. Uh, new keyboards. That's something actually I wanted to cover in this episode. I'll have to wait till the next episode. Uh... Okay, yeah, upgrade planner, all that shit. See, now the house bots have got something to do. Alright, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Um, next episode, we will go tackle steel, I think, over here. Um, that seems pretty important. So, thank you guys for watching. As always, do hope you're enjoying the series. Um, that's about it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!